This is a typical Dominic's bag, and if you're a dog owner, you probably reuse these bags to pick up dog waste wherever, you know, if you're walking your dog, going out in the yard and getting it. Now, you know, this is actually a good second use for a bag to use this to pick up dog waste. The only thing is that what happens when you fill one of these bags up with dog waste and then you throw it into the garbage is that the plastic ends up being thrown into the garbage along with the dog waste. And it doesn't really have a chance to break down and uh, go back to soil because it's wrapped in that plastic. We're going to go ahead and build a dog waste composter today so hopefully you can follow along with this video and make one of your own uh, as a way of ensuring that your dog is a good environmental citizen. Alright, well these two are the culprits. Uh, our dogs both weigh about 60 pounds. This is uh, this one's Diva. This one here is the Dude. And uh, they generate a pretty significant amount of waste every day. You know, we feed them two times a day, they probably go two times a day. And up until now, we've been taking their waste, picking it up in a plastic bag, putting it into another plastic bag, and then throwing it away. Now, granted, those plastic bags came from the grocery store, and uh, we're giving them a second use. But, you know, really, uh, in the long run is still having a negative environmental impact. So as I said, you know, we found some plans on the internet to be able to create a dog waste composter and we're going to go ahead and experiment with that. And what we've got here is we've got a uh, just a regular plastic garbage pail which we're going to uh, modify so it can work for this purpose. And then what I've done is I've picked out a spot right here. It's uh, next to our existing compost bin. And I've taken the lid of the uh, can that we're going to be using and I've made it basically the, the pattern for where I'm going to dig. So I'm going to go ahead and start digging a hole right in this spot and remove the soil. And I'm going to try and dig as straight and uh, as narrow as I can. see the holes all through the garbage can and that's really critical so that when you bury it in the ground it has an interaction and there's, there's one of those culprits right now walking by so when you throw the, the poop in you actually have interaction with the soil the ground soil that it's buried in correcting my mistake which is to drill the hole too far up you don't want the holes all the way at the top you just want to do it the lower two-thirds of the barrel and the reason for that is that uh, the smell will escape if the holes are too close to the surface, right? Correct. So we're just using some duct tape to patch them up. Hi, right, well, we're ready to now test how uh, how close we are to having the hole ready. i um, been digging for about maybe 25, 30 minutes. Um, I right, know we're pretty close. The only thing is I probably want to go out down about two more inches and I could probably force it, but just so this has enough space, I'm going to clean it up. All right, well, uh, we cut the bottom off of this and uh, in cutting the bottom off, we made it the, a little less rigid. So in order to make sure that the top would fit once it was in, I put the top on and then went ahead and fitted it into the hole in the ground and adjusted it so that it it's a perfect circle so that you know, when we go to put the lid on this, which is important because it's one of the things that's going to trap the odor, um, that it's, it's already in place. So just an important thing, make sure the actual cylinder is circular so the lid fits on top. All right, well now, if you look here, we put some gravel on the bottom. That's to help it leach. We actually broke up some bricks. Um, if we had regular gravel from the like a road or something, we'll probably go ahead and use that, but we're going to hope that that's sufficient for now. And then the other thing that you're supposed to use is grass clippings, which we've got here in our compost pile. And we rather conveniently located the two next to one another. The idea being that these uh, will support one another in the process of biodegradation. So we're just gonna dump some of that in there. There's basically two products that were recommended. These are both um, non-caustic bacteria. So basically this is a 
prepackaged form of bacteria that will interact with the dog waste and help to biodegrade it much faster. This is the same sort of thing that people put into septic systems if you're in the country and you have a septic system, you're probably very familiar with it. In uh, Canada, up on our land, we don't have a septic system, we have an outhouse. Uh, and the times when we are there for longer periods of time, this is the kind of product that we dump into the bottom of the outhouse to help with the biodegradation. But we're going to go ahead and add this along with some of the dog waste and uh, hopefully we'll have good results. Dog waste be on video, but this is how it works. Oh. So dumping that in there. Going with the, a little bit of the treatment here. We're actually going to dump that in there. So this is going to create a bacterial reaction. Then we're going to add a little bit more grass clippings on top of it. Compost bin. And close the lid. Just like this. Snaps on just like the the lids in the alley and uh, that should eventually leave us with dirt.